Welcome to the 11th video in the Simply for Mobile tutorial series. In this video, we are going to highlight the user interface elements of the stepper and the text field. So what I've got here, I've got our skeleton code set up with our, our four main functions for a Simply for Mobile application. And we'll jump right in and we'll do a draw stepper function inside of the begin screen and end screens. Now a stepper is a component that allows you to increment or decrement a value. It's got a plus sign on the right and a minus sign on the left. And um, it's called a stepper because it's a, you know, one, a step in one direction or the other. It's, it's not a, you know, it allows fine tune adjustments thing of, of things. Whereas where we saw with the slider, you might not be able to get that uh, to go to the exact value you want. It's more of an eyeball thing. With the stepper, you can, in increments of one integer, uh, increase and decrease a value. So the stepper is a very uh, simple element. Like everything, it needs its origin point. And then it needs a width, which this is interesting. Uh, it is required argument to give it a width right here. However, no matter what you put in there, it's going to be the exact same size. So if you put in 100 or 2, it doesn't matter. The stepper has a fixed width. So I'm not entirely sure uh, if they're going to get rid of that argument in the future, or if they're going to actually allow the stepper to have its width adjusted by the argument that you pass. So we, yeah, we've got the origin, width, and then just like the slider, we have a minimum and a maximum. And that's, those are the, all of the required uh, arguments to pass in. So we'll do another one uh, where we, we pass in color. And um, the height of the stepper is also fixed. So it's, uh, yeah, it, it just like the button actually, or I'm sorry, the switch. The switch has got a, a fixed height and width, so does the stepper, but for whatever reason, they make you pass in the width argument, which is invalid. So we'll give this some parameters and to, to prove that the width does nothing I set them differently here and you'll see on the phone that they actually do come out different and then we'll pass in uh, a color parameter and like always we just pick whatever we want for show and tell here and that is going to be the the color of the stepper I believe the stepper is uh, transparent so that the background we can prove this the the background is going to be I don't, yellow is too harsh. Um, red will show up nice on black. Uh, yeah, the background's going to show through the stepper. So, now that we've uh, shown the arguments, let's go to the phone. Alright, let's open up the stepper. And there you go. So, this is, this is what I was talking about. We've got a minus sign on the left, plus sign on the right. And as you tap the right or the left, a value that is not being displayed right now, it's totally unseen. It is just like the slider though, it does have a value. <laughs> you just can't see it unless you give it a, a label. Uh, you are increasing those or decreasing those values one at a time by tapping the um, either side of the stepper. You can increase by more than one value at a time by holding down the right side or the left side. Um, it's, I, I, we'll look at that later. Uh, it's not very clean, but it is possible. And as you can see, the black is showing through the, the background of the stepper. So they are indeed transparent. That is, that's the entirety of the stepper. So next we're gonna take a look at the text field. So let's do the text field now. Simply for mobile, draw text field. Give me some 
some origins. And then the next uh, variable is the width. And in this case, the width actually does <laughs> adjust the size of your text field. A handy uh, feature to have. So we'll just call it 100 wide. And then the, the only uh, necessary parameter to pass in here is a string or a value. The text field can be either a string text field where it's looking for characters or a basically a number te uh, field. Even though it's called a text field, it can be a number text field where it is receiving and displaying digits, integers. So in this case, we'll show it with a banana because it's fun. Copy that. We'll do another one with a number inside of it. 47. And then we'll show off the next parameter. Um, ah, capitalize. Orange. It's called a placeholder. Uh, so a placeholder is what is shown in your text field when there's no really input to display. It's basically empty. So this is actually really handy. Uh, we'll actually delete orange. Uh, we'll, we pass in a string that says uh, you know, fruit semicolon or you know, enter fruit or something. Uh, and that is going to be kind of like a blurred background inside the text field so that the user can read what that says and it's usually a hint as to what you're supposed to put in the text field without giving it a label elsewhere. So you might put in like password or something like that to enable the user to type that in. Um, and we'll, we'll change up the, the size of this to prove that the width does work on this um, on this uh, element unlike the stepper. 160. Now, what's important that I did here, uh, I put an empty string in there so that when the application opens up, we see the placeholder instead of the instead of the string. In this one, we're going to see the string that is being currently stored in the text field, which is banana, and we wouldn't see a placeholder even if we had an argument here. And you know what, I'll show you that by, we'll do this, we'll, we'll do this, ABC. And uh, let's, let's download this and then I'll show you on the phone. All right, we'll open the phone here, the app here. Okay, so here are our text fields. And they look a little weird with the black background, we'll change that next time. You can see though that they're not transparent, so that's maybe a fortunate thing we hadn't changed it from black yet mm. they you can uh, yeah they're not transparent naturally so the banana text field that's the te that's the string we passed into it was banana and if we open that up you can see our keyboard pops up here and it allows us to enter a new string well if we delete that string and hit enter it's empty there's no no value in that text field down here the bottom one is the exact same type of text field where it's expecting a string but we passed in a placeholder so let's delete the string that we put in there initially and you can see that right there it says fruit it's kind of gray you know it's really faint uh, fruit colon that's the placeholder we passed in if we didn't give it an initial string to display like ABC when you open the app it would just say fruit which is the placeholder now if we go to this middle one where a number it's a it's a numeric value text field you can see that when we touch it, the, the uh, number keypad pops up, not the letters keypad. And we can enter a new number. Now, you it will let you enter garbage. <laughs> That's definitely not a number. And it's not going to, you know, throw an error. It's not going to crash. It's not going to do anything. But the value stored by this text field is going to be junk. It might be zero, it might be um, some various integer, you know, just random integer. It's not necessarily associated with the ASCII values of the characters you pass in. Okay. 
So now let's go back uh, and look at some more parameters of the text field. All right, so now that we've seen um, a little bit of the text fields in action, let's go ahead and throw in some different parameters here. Oh, and uh, we didn't point out uh, while I was filming on the phone there, but you could see that the text boxes were different sizes. So the width field, the width argument actually means something for this element. And of course, the, uh, the only remaining uh, arguments to pass in are color, but the text field offers two, uh, two color options. So the first one is the, what I would consider to be like the standard, what you, what you might expect. Um, color option is the color of the text and it's the color of the uh, basically the box the outside of the box the frame of the text field and then the second the second color is uh, the background of the text field and so we can it's already white uh, naturally but we could specify it to be something uh, different so we could call it yellow um, which will probably work but I want to show that probably the first time the use of clear is handy um, yeah let's let's call this gray change the screen to be gray so our uh, this text field is going to have banana in it <laughs> which we'll just throw out oh uh, we're gonna have a, some errors here because we were trying to put, we skipped an argument here. <laughs> we, we needed to pass a string in for the um, placeholder here. So if we, if we didn't have that there, they would probably yell at us and say, you can't call a placeholder blue. You could type in blue as a placeholder, <laughs> but in fact, we'll do that. There we go. So the, uh, this text box is going to have a blue frame and blue text with a yellow background. This text field is going to have a red text with a red frame with a transparent background. So then we will see the gray behind it. So we'll pull this up on the phone and take a look. All right, we'll open it. Okay, so down here are the two new text fields that we added. We've got a gray background. And uh, we can see the different color options here. On this one right here, we can see that we do have the red frame and the red text with a clear background. So it just shows the, the screen color. Now you can see something I was about to show, and I didn't intend to do it just yet, but these text fields that are lower on the screen, and this one in particular, when we open it to type into it, our keypad covers it. Um, this is something that uh, I don't think that there's any real fix for. None that come to mind to make the app like slide up so you can t see your text field. So what I've learned here is that the text fields are kind of limited. If you want to be able to see what you're actually typing into them at, in the box, uh, it has to be in the maybe the upper two-thirds of the screen, the upper half of the screen, because if it's low enough, it, the, the keyboard just covers it up. You still typed into it, and there will be a bunch of gibberish there. Uh, it ran out of the, outside the box, but it's there. Um, but it's it's covered <laughs> when, when we're typing into it. So you're going to have to keep that in mind in your user interface layout. And then here uh, you can see we've got a yellow background, black background, a yellow background, a very faintly visible blue frame around it with a placeholder of blue and we open it and we type in some letters here. Jeff. Jeff is, uh, the letters are blue there. So that's the text field. So that is the end of uh, this video. We are now going to move on to I guess the last user elements, uh, user interface elements video of using images, so JPEGs uh, in your app. Pretty cool video. Um, so make sure to come back for that. Thanks.